Hi there. Today, we're going to take a look at the different kinds of medicines used to treat osteoporosis. There are several different categories, and I'm not going to go through every single medicine in each category, but this will give you a good idea of what they each do and how they might be beneficial for you. The first class of medicines is the bisphosphonates. They are the most commonly used because they are cost effective and usually work pretty well. There are some issues with these medications that we have to be aware of, and so obviously you're going to have this talk with your doctor, but keep these in mind. One, we don't use these medicines in women that have any sort of esophageal conditions, whether that's Barrett's esophagus or achalasia, which is a swallowing difficulty, just because sometimes they can lead to an upset stomach and could potentially worsen these conditions. We also don't use these medicines in women who have chronic kidney disease. So your doctor and you will both be mindful of that. We don't use these medicines any longer than five years because of the risk of atypical femur fractures, which is the long bone in the leg, or osteonecrosis of the jaw, which is uh, where the bone essentially dies. So under five years, we don't see those happen very often, and the risk of having a severe problem develop from an osteoporotic fracture is quite a great deal higher than developing one of these. So these are the medicines, Resedronate, Alindronate, which are medicines like Fosamax, Actinel, and Boniva. And most of the time, women tolerate them very well. You take it with a glass of water and sit upright for at least 30, or min 30 minutes or an hour, and then it helps harden up the bone that you have. Next up is Riloxifen, also known as Evista. This is in a class of medicine called SERMs, or Selective Estrogen Receptor Modulators. These medicines are pretty cool because they have different effects on different estrogen receptors at different places in the body. Well, this one happens to help promote bone growth, and it actually helps to decrease your risk of breast cancer. It's in the same class as the medicine tamoxifen, which is used to help reduce the risk of recurrent breast cancer. So uh, they usually are tolerated pretty well and are pretty cost effective. They don't have the same significant improval in bone mineral density, so you're going to see them used more in women who are not candidates for bisphosphonates or who just ha might have mild osteopenia and need a little bit of help with improving their bone mineral density, but they may be a good option for you. Next is teriparatide, also known as Forteo. It works like parathyroid hormone, which helps to regulate calcium and vitamin D absorption and helps to naturally regulate bone growth. It helps to improve osteoblast function. Those are the cells that build bone and increases calcium absorption in the intestines. It is an injection taken every day for two years, and some people see a marked improvement with their bone mineral density. There are some slightly increased risk of cancers with this, and so they aren't quite as commonly used as some others, but maybe a good option for you if you have either had your bisphosphonate for over five years or don't tolerate it. Next is Prolia, which is my favorite bone medicine. It's pretty cool. Um, the way that I like to think of it is a bone is like a brick wall and it's always being built and broken down. You have osteoblasts which build bone and osteoclasts which reabsorb bone. So think of it like when a one guy comes in and puts in a brick, another guy comes in and takes out a brick. Well, what Prolia does is it's technically called a rank ligand inhibitor and it shuts down the guy who takes the bricks out of the wall. So it just allows you to build and build and build new bone. It doesn't carry the same cancer risks that Forteo does and can be taken indefinitely. And I have seen some really good improvements with my patients on this medicine. It's an injection that is given every six months. You just want to make sure that your vitamin D and calcium levels are optimized before you take this injection, but it can lead to really significant improvements in your bone mineral density. So the next one is called Evenity, and it is like 
prolia on steroids. So for people who have really severe osteoporosis and are at a really increased risk of having a fracture, then sometimes you have to pull out the big guns first. And it works fast and well and is also crazy expensive. So it's not generally our first choice, but for people who really need an improvement in their bone density ASAP, this is actually a really decent choice if other options aren't best for them. So this is the general categories of your different bone medicines and you and your doctor will have a nice discussion about which one is best for you, but this might give you some insight into why they chose the one that they did and why we have to go in a stepwise fashion to choose these medicines for you. I hope your bones are healthy. Don't forget to do your weight bearing exercise. And also, of utmost importance, don't forget to like and subscribe.